This is down at the barn, Petro 062. I gotta show you this. I had these guys put these doors on my barn. 1800 bucks. And they put in crap wood. And it's soaked, rotted, and caked in on me. See? That door, just one piece of plywood, okay? I had to buy some new plywood. I'm putting new doors on. It fell on me. I was opening it up this morning. And, and there, there's the rest of it. See how it came apart? It was rainy, and it fell on me. I'll show you the door. It's over here. Oh, can you believe that? Man, I'm telling you, it was heavy. Right there. Took all the pieces, I threw them on the pile. It just came all apart. It, they made it out of this set. Uh, instead of regular, it wasn't, it wasn't outdoor. It was that damn... Uh, f uh, p uh, Wilt waffle, uh, waffle board, something like that. So I had to buy two new sheets of plywood, exterior plywood, and I got to replace both them doors, man. And I'm telling you what, it's a job, man. I got all these hinges and stuff to put on there. I greased them up because they were rusty. But now I got to put the whole door on and hook the hinges up. $1,800 I paid for two doors. Put them two doors on. Look at him. Look at him. I'm not going to open that door now because if I do, it's probably going to fall on me. Look. See the bolts? Look. See the bolts come out of there. The bolts came out of it. What the heck? So I'm going to leave it. I'm going to have to put some kind of an overhang on it to keep the water off of it. Anyhow. Be Petro 062 reporting for 96 degrees humidity about a hundred percent and I'm out here fixing my doors because it fell off this morning isn't that wild well there it is as good as it's gonna get I propped that piece of plywood in there found me three pieces of wood I had to shim it because the hinges were sticking out like this. So I had to shim it. Put a board all the way across it, put a whole bunch of drywall screws in it. And then I, I put the board on. Then I lined up one hole right there. I drilled that through, put the nut on it and pulled it tight. Then I did this one, pulled it tight. That pulled the door out, out to me. And I did that to the bottom and then the top. And then once I had them all pulled out, then I got the second one. Then I got this one. And I put the nuts on them, tightened them all up. Once I got all of them on, except these, which were harder to do because I had to cut them off. They were too long. Uh, then I, uh, I uh, pulled the bolts tight. A little too long. I had to cut them. I had to cut them off. They were hitting the wood. But <coughs> put a little hook on. <coughs> Got a little chain on the inside. And there it is. My my door's back. Now I gotta put some kind of overhang to keep the water from running right down because it runs right down on it. So, anyway, there's my other wood, my other door. I ain't gonna do it yet. This be Petro 062 for. <laughs> it took me all day. It's about 6.30. I started on this probably at one o'clock, but it's hard to do by yourself. That board is really heavy right there. I had to stand it up after. I gotta tear that one all off. I don't think it's going to be too hard. I hope not. I hope. I just pull all the nuts off on the inside. Hopefully I can push it off on the ground. But it ain't all in pieces, so I might have to rip all them boards off. I'm done. Channel 62. <laughs>